What up, guys? It's Chance. Uh, as you guys can probably tell, yes, I'm very pissed off right now, and for good reason. Because as many of you know, I had just gotten into a relationship with a good friend of mine, Crystal, who happens to be the cousin of my now ex, Betty. Well, me and Crystal were doing good for a long time. You know, we were doing really good. You know, we were happy. Well, today, her mom found out about me and her. And let's just say her mom is one of those judgmental bitches that I'm talking about. Her mom sat right there with me on fucking video chat and told her that I wasn't good enough. Told me that I didn't look good enough and that she could do better. Like, what the fuck? Like, who are you to fucking judge me? Like, you don't have that right to fucking judge. Especially when she's of age. Like, what the fuck? Like, you want to sit there and judge me by my looks? As to how I fucking treat your daughter? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, seriously, I'm not a bad guy. And for you to sit there and judge me like that is bullshit, and it's wrong. Let me tell you guys something. This little bitch came between me and Crystal and forced her to break up with me or get kicked out with nowhere to live. She straight out told her to either leave me or get kicked out with nowhere to live. What up, TJ? What's going on, bro? Like, it's people like her that just really fucking piss me off. Like, it's people like her that I'm single all the fucking time. Because of judgmental little bitches like Crystal's mom. Like, her mom's controlling and... Ugh. Like, what right... Do you have to fucking judge? Like, that's what I don't get. What up, Dallas? Hey, Dallas, I'd like you to meet my cousin who's literally like my brother, TJ. TJ, this is one of my best friends on the entire fucking earth. This is Dallas. But... You know, like, I just don't fucking get it. Like, like, I'm not trying to rant or rave or anything like that, but, you know, it's like, that's actually a very big reason as to why I'm single all the fucking time, is because instead of judging me by how I treat people, which is actually good, like, I get judged by my looks. I get judged by my looks and for ultimately because of the fact that I do live here at home to take care of my mom and no I don't work a normal job like and I'll admit I don't work a normal job because I have to help my mom out around the house because as a lot of you know she was hit by a car very recently. Like, I don't get it. Like, what's so wrong about living at home and doing your dream job of, you know, doing music and running your own shop and helping your moms out? Like, I don't see the problem in that. Like, but a lot of you guys don't know that this is the type of shit that I go through, like, Almost every fucking day. Like. And I'll be honest with you. Like I've gone through some bad shit. And you know. And honestly I'll admit you know. Like my cousin is literally like my brother. You know TJ. He's seen a lot of that. And so have a lot of my other really good friends. That have 
been there. I've gone through mental abuse. I've gone through fucking verbal abuse. I've gone through being cheated on and lied to. I've gone through that shit. But for this, this takes it to a whole new level of being fucked up. Like, I just don't understand why people feel they have the fucking right to sit there and do shit like that when I do nothing but treat the person that I'm with with the utmost respect. I treat them right. I do whatever I can to help them. Like, I kid you guys not, when I was talking to Crystal on video chat, because she was at work, I don't know, she had just gotten off work, and whatnot, and right there in front of my fucking face, her mom sat right there and told her, oh, he's too ugly, you can do better than him, you deserve better, and I'm just like, what the fuck? So her mom literally forced me and her to split up, even though she's of age. You know, she forced, she literally gave her the choice to either break up with me or live with no place, or literally get kicked out with no place to live. And I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck? Like, what right do you have to do that? Like, that's not your place. She's of age. I mean, good God, she's about to be 20 here in a few months. Like, what the fuck? But that is my rant for the day, guys. Like, I do apologize if, you know, I do bring any bad news to you guys. I apologize for that. But on a flip side, I am currently looking for a job as a producer for anybody. Like, if you guys do... You know, any kind of music whatsoever, like whether you rap, you do metal work, like, you know, if you do melodic type music or alternative rock, whatever it is you do, you know, hit me up because I am looking for a job as a producer. And as a matter of fact, I will actually play you guys one of my songs real quick. Like one of my latest tracks is, well, it's not one of my latest ones but it's an older one that i did back in the day that i am bringing back for anybody to use like and just so you guys know i am looking to get paid for my work so if you guys know anybody that is willing to pay you know hit me up and let me know But, like, I don't get it. Like, that's the only thing I just don't understand is why people feel they have to judge. Like, by my looks. It's like... It's like, you know, I'm sitting here. You know, I'm happy as hell with the person that I'm with. You know, everything's going good. You know, I got my career, my career, I've got my shop. You know, I've got my life together and what I want to do. And for people to just come up and judge like that is like, what right do you fucking have to do that? What up, Catherine? Hold on, guys. We gotta wait for this damn thing to load. It's being a swell ass. But, like, if you guys are just now tuning into this live stream, basically, my now current ex, Crystal, was basically forced to leave me. Her mom was with her after work. We were talking on live stream. Or not live stream, but on video chat. And, you know, she was telling me how her day went. And I was telling her how my day went. What up, Grace? But I was basically, you know, telling her how my day went. And everything like that. Well, her mom sat right there 
right there in front of my fucking face and basically told me that I'm not good enough for her daughter, that I can do better. Just because I live at home and I take care of my mom, who was hit by a car recently, so she is somewhat disabled. And it's like, what right do you have to judge me by my looks and my work, by what I do? And just because I live at home, that don't mean shit. Like, I don't get it. Like, I really and truly do not fucking get it. It's like, you know, it seems like every time everything's going good and it just starts going my way and starts going really good. You know, somebody or something always comes along to fuck it up. And honestly, I'm tired of being judged by how I look. Why not start judging me by how I fucking treat people and what I can do? Rather than sit there and judge me by my looks and the fact that I live at home with my mom. So what? I live at home with my mom to help take care of her. So fucking what? Alright? She's literally almost disabled fully. She can't do very much. And for those people out there judging me for that, y'all can do this and go fuck yourselves. Because I'm tired of your damn mouths and I'm tired of you guys judging me. But for you guys that are into music, here's one of my latest tracks for you. I just uploaded these four tracks yesterday. Hold on. Let the intro go through. But this is one of my oldest and best beats for you guys. This is called Mozart Murder. I tell you what, let me switch over accounts and I'll replay the track. Alright, so give me just a minute to switch over to my other administrative account on my computer and I will play it back for you guys. But, all in all, you know, I'm just getting really tired of this shit. Like, you know, the only and the only time I ever rip on somebody's parents is if I know damn good and well that their parents fucking deserve it. And the reason why is because a lot of them fucking judge me. That's the only reason I jump down their parents' throats. Or they try to sit there and boss them around when they're of age. Like, it's stupid. Alright, here we go. I'm on one that actually works. Thank you. 
on guys, we're gonna have to plug you guys in. But, you know, all in all, guys, like, you know, I'm just sick of the bullshit, you know? Like, I'm sick and tired of being fucking judged by my looks instead, uh, and like, you know, my living conditions instead of, you know, by how I treat a person and... Everything like that. Like, I'm getting fucking tired of it. And people wonder why I'm in tears all the fucking time. It's because of shit like this. Like, you don't think that shit doesn't fuck with a person? Well, guess what? It does. Especially when you're like me and you've gone through fucking mental abuse, verbal abuse, being cheated on and lied to for seven plus years. That shit will fuck with a person. Real fucking quick, let me tell you. What up, Josh? Um, I am going to play another beat for you guys. That one's called Mozart Murder, and this one is called Dark Carnival. And you guys will see why I named it Dark Carnival in a minute. And no, it has no relation to the Juggalos at all. Like, it's just... It's got that creepy carnival type vibe to it, so... That's a little bit of a sample of that one. I can't give too much away. 
But, as I said, if you guys know anybody who is a music artist or runs a record label, who is willing to pay me for my work, I'm willing to produce for them. Like, I tried the whole free thing and it doesn't work. Like, I don't do free shit no more. I do not do any more free handouts. So, if you're willing to pay me a good price, then I'm willing to work with you. But, I am going to end this live stream right here, guys. Um, I am going to do another one here in just a couple minutes as soon as this thing gets enough charge on it. Um, I do have a new shop open at rayjohn.com. As a matter of fact, I will pull that up. If you guys look up rayjohn.com. And go to rayjohn.com and look up DK Customs. That's me. That's DK Customs. As a matter of fact, I will pull up my shop so you guys can take a nice good peek at what I have up right now. But if you guys go to this link right here, if you guys go to www.rayjohn.com slash a slash users slash DK customs, you'll come to my shop. And here is somewhat of what I have. I do have some new, you know, girls shirts like if you're in the little mermaid i do have those um all t-shirts are 24.99 um obviously shoes are 80 bucks for good reason because everything in this shop is literally custom made by me i literally hand made all this shit on my computer so if you guys are interested and want some custom gear check out my shop um oh, where's the so, like, you know, I will be adding more sh stuff to the shop as time goes on. I do apologize for that glitch. But, you guys can literally just go to my shop and buy my stuff. And if you're a fan of drifting, I do have my Drift Team's official clothing line. The Extreme Speed's official team t-shirts. If you guys are into drift racing or know about our stuff. Hit us up. We can, you know, get you hooked up for 24 bucks. Um, I have custom t-shirts. Hoodies are a little bit pricey. They're like 80 bucks, which I don't agree with the shop's price on that, but what are you going to do? But everything in here is literally custom made by me. So, like, if you guys want, you know, some dope-ass shoes like these. Or... Like some red and black flat tops or flat bottoms or and I do have a matching set. I have a matching t-shirt and shoe set if you guys want to buy those. Um, I do have, you know, like I said, matching shoes to match this. I think it's a towel. I can't remember what that is. I don't know. It's like a flare towel. Um, but anyways, you know, I have matching sets of stuff, so... If you guys want to buy, you know, some of my stuff, definitely check it out. Um, I am going to post the link in the comments right now. So, give me just a minute here. And shout out to Dom. What up, sis? It's been a while. How you doing? But I'm getting ready to post the... Shop link in the comments right now. Alright, there you go guys. If you guys go to the comments right now and check out the shop, the link is up there for you guys to check the stuff out. Um... You know, like, I've got literally everything, like, 
I have towels, I have bandanas, I even have custom, um, like if you're huge into anime or like anime at all, I have a custom canvas here, so you guys can go on there, you know, check out the canvases, I have a custom skull stuff, if you guys are into skulls and that type of deal, um, but yeah, as you guys can see, I have a nice assortment of stuff, uh, this one right here, I do like, this t-shirt's one of my personal favorites, it says, if chaos is a work of art, then my heart is a masterpiece. I freaking love that one. It's one of my favorites, and it's completely true. Um, I literally have um, crossed out eyed Mickey. So it's like death style Mickey. But this is literally my entire clothing line at the time being. I literally have... You know, black and white shoes, if you guys are into that. I have shirts. Um, I don't have any phone cases as of yet. But, here's a neat little trick you guys are going to like. Um, like, let's say one of you guys wants to buy, let's say, a custom anime canvas. Just for shits. Like, just for shits and giggles. Let's do this. Let's go here to the... To the blood anime blood canvas as you guys can see it's 33 bucks and I forgot to mention everything does come in extra small to 5xl so you don't have to worry about that but as you can see down here you can buy assortments of stuff like t-shirts uh, pillows bed sheets Canvases like you see in pants. Phone cases if you guys want a phone case. So pretty much anything you see in the shop you can literally, you know, buy. Like you have underwear, socks. Like literally anything you could think of, I have in the fucking shop. Like the only thing I don't have are hats and backpacks yet. I am working on that though. But... You have an assortment of stuff. This one right here, this shoe is like literally my particular favorite. So you guys can definitely buy like a lot of my stuff if you guys want, you know, really good custom quality stuff. Be sure to hit up my shop. Um, as I said, all t-shirts are $24.99. They're, you know, decent price. Um... And everything does ship within 10 business days. So, you know, you're getting a good deal right there. So, like I said, guys, if you guys are interested, um, definitely hit up my shop. Because, you know, I could definitely use help with the shop. I haven't sold anything yet. I am looking for people to, you know, buy my stuff. I am looking for potential customers. Um, as I said, everything in the shop is custom made by me. I did everything myself on the computer. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do do digital artwork. I do anime. I do graffiti. I do comic art. I do logo designs. I do. I even do abstract background designs from time to time. So if you guys are interested, definitely hit up my shop. I have something for everybody on there. Uh, with that being said, I am going to have to end the live stream right here, guys. Unfortunately, like I said, um, I will be doing another live stream as soon as this stuff gets charged up enough. And I will catch you guys in my shop. And as I said, you know, go on there, check the link out. I'll also be leaving the link in the description of this live stream as well. And on my timeline and all over the place. So, if you or anybody you know wants to buy something, or if you want to give your kid a real good gift, you know, for say their birthday or Christmas, or if you have a daughter that is into a little mermaid and you want to give her a nice surprise, hit up my shop. I got something for everybody. But with that being said, guys, this is Chance, and I'll catch you guys later.